Yeah, so here's the first part of my dog review. Um, this one's pretty cool. He does it like that. Jack! Is I did it? it! What year is it? I uh, finally... I fixed it. What happened? My Xbox. I haven't been able to connect it for so long. Your, your 360? What? You... No, my Xbox. The, the, the first one. My Xbox One. The what? Uh, my Xbox. The, that means something else. What? So, um, this isn't my normal dashboard, which means I did finally fix my FTP issues. I know I talked about it before. I had asked a few different people, try to figure out what was going on, didn't really get anywhere, but now I've done it. So I'm going to walk you through that process of what I did. So if you follow along with an Xbox FTP tutorial, it'll probably start out with them telling you to go to your network settings and start changing some stuff around. Now, right there on that first step, I can't do that. I don't have a section for my network settings, and I hadn't really found anyone talking about other ways to access them. I purchased this Xbox modded, so I didn't have any control over what had and hadn't been done to the system. I tried going into XBMC to change some settings. Whenever you go into there, you can see your network info, and it'll even let you tweak some settings, but it didn't do anything for me. I even tried going to the normal Xbox dashboard and messing with some things, but nothing happened. What I finally got to work is I tried messing with my Evolution X INI file, which is the file that stores all the settings for Evolution X. I tried getting like a USB flash drive and a converter and hooking that up to it so I could give it a new file and I couldn't get that to work. So what I figured out is if I take the file that my system settings are stored on at the moment and I move it to a different partition, the dashboard will be looking for that file, it won't find one, and it'll create a new one of its own. And once I did that, I had access to my network settings. Awesome, problem solved, right? Well, not exactly. Now I don't have any of my other settings, and I'm missing a bunch of stuff, like I don't have any of my game sections, which like, that's not that big of a deal, I didn't have a lot of stuff stored, and I have the disks and my drive works, but like, I don't have my file browser, and I really want that, so I couldn't get into XBMC or a bunch of other stuff, so definitely had to fix that. But again, I have access to my network settings, so now I can go ahead and I can FTP into the system. So I went to my PC and I took my new INI file and my old one and I cross-referenced them a ton. I skimmed through both of them, kind of read what I wanted, what I didn't, and I just made like a master file. And then I put that back onto the system and then I moved it over and now everything's set up just right. If you guys are having similar issues to mine, the biggest thing I would say is just take your time, make sure to back up your stuff. Initially, I got kind of frustrated because I tried a bunch of different stuff and I almost, instead of moving it to a different partition, I almost just deleted my old INI file, which I guess would have still got me a solution, but it wouldn't have been the one that I wanted Hey. Like that lip noise. <laughs> My ears are boy. His beard's green. Look at his shine. <laughs> Look at them shine. Oh, 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 oh. That's cool. It's from all that smoking, fed.